We got the project together. It was accepted by NASA in uh, 2002. We were launched in 2007 and another four years and we're finally in orbit around Vesta and uh, it's everything, everything we ex ever expected and uh, a lot more as we will see. There was a very large uh, impact uh, on Vesta and it has, uh, let's say, damaged the uh, southern uh, part of the, uh, <coughs> of Vesta and uh, then spread material and uh, around the solar system and uh, uh, around the surface uh, so that we're seeing quite a different uh, terrain on the south uh, than the north. There is an older surface with much more craters on the uh, in the north. Uh, these craters are very interesting. They have uh, features in it th in them that we did not expect. You know, I think most people think of asteroids as these little chips of rock, maybe the size of a building or a mountain or even a city. But Vesta is entirely unlike that. At 330 miles in diameter, it has twice the surface area of California. There are topographic highs and lows and elongated wide and kilometers deep grooves in the north. You see the elongated grooves at the equatorial region coming out nicely. The orbital motion of the spacecraft during the uh, imaging brought us from the uh, equatorial to the mid-southern latitudes. So that's why you see the North Pole, uh, the South Pole peak coming out nicely in our view. This set of three craters, we nicknamed uh, these uh, the snowmen, so you see the, uh, the two large and the, uh, the small on top. It's a composite of a crater just south of the equator. The color composite is used to show us differences in composition of the material on the surface 